Hello, everyone. A very good morning to everyone here on the call. Thank you for joining us on this virtual press conference. Before we carry on, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Yang Berhormat Datuk Sri Panglima Masidi Manjun, State Minister of Local Government and Housing Sabah and State Minister of Finance to Sabah. That's Tony Fernandez, CEO of Air Asia Group. Mr. Lim Benji, Head of E-Commerce for Air Asia Super App. And Tansri, distinguished yeah. media members. Tansri, are you in the midst of doing delivery? Yes. I wish it was in I wish it was in KK. Okay. <laughs> so nice to see you. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you, sir. Good to see you. Yeah, Miss see you. you. Nice to see you again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the visual press conference for the expansion of Air Asia Food and Air Asia Fresh into Sabah, starting in Kota Kinabalu. Before we start, let's take a look at what we offer. Exciting times for the Air Asia Super App. To kick off the visual PC today, I will let you invite Tansri Tony Fernandez for his short address, if you please, Tony. Thanks, Hamza. Um, a very good afternoon to everyone, or good morning still. Yang Muhammad, Datu Sri Panglima, Masidi Manjun, State Minister of Local Government and Housing, Sabah, and State Minister of Finance, uh, to Sabah. And uh, my, my good friend, uh, the man who really along with uh, the late Irene Charouks, really created tourism for AirAsia in Sabah. Uh, you know, we've known each other for a long time and I always say AirAsia is alive because of Sabah and the amazing support we got. You know, uh, I know this is a slight digression, but the first people to come and see me ever when we started AirAsia was Sabah tourism. And so this is, you know, I told Benji and Asma at whatever cost I have to be there for the launch of AirAsia Delivers in Sabah because Sabah is the most important place for us. Um, in fact, the first ever loan we applied for was with Sabah Development Bank 19 years ago, which we got approved, but Cameron and me didn't have money to pay the commitment fee. So we never drew down. And again, the first bank that have supported us uh, during these very tough times, the Sabah development back again. And a lot of what we're doing is for Sabah. So uh, a long introduction to, to YB, but he's a special person in our heart and Sabah is a very special place in our heart. So, and to my CEO, Amanda Wu, CEO of AirAsia Super App, and to our, uh, one of the big marketeers in Asia now, top 50 or top 30, I don't know which one, Benji, but under no, top 50, under 30. Uh, Lim Benji, again, AirAsia shows that we, we give people a chance and leading this huge venture against giants like Grab and, and uh, Food Panda is uh, Lim Benji, who is under 30 years old, still has pimples, and, uh, but we are very proud of him and he's going to do a lot of good for, for Sabah. Members of the media, my friends, I wish I was there. I can't wait to come. I'm waiting for my second jab. And the first place I will come is, is Kota Kinabalu, provided maybe doesn't quarantine me for 14 days. Uh, um, I'll be there. And uh, all my all-stars who are on the call, especially Eric, who uh, hasn't lost weight, despite promising me that he'd be slimmer than me uh, during the COVID. And especially all, to all my Sabah all-stars who are incredibly special. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, it goes without saying that I'm, I'm thrilled that YB has given his time to, to be with us today and shows why he's such a cool guy that despite his busy schedule, he's still here to, to launch uh, our delivery service. Uh, 
you know, to, to keep it short, because Benji has got a presentation, you know, where I, and Benji can confirm from the moment we launched, I kept saying, when is Saba, when is Saba, when is Saba? And then he told me, no, Saramban is first and Penang, and I drove him nuts. And, and so I'm, I'm really thrilled that we're launching in Saba. We hope that we will give restaurants a, a much better margin because we're charging less. And in fact, we are looking at different ways of uh, even charging uh, lesser than what uh, Benji is proposing to you guys now. Uh, we hope that through our connections, some of you may even open your restaurants in Samanjong and grow your business uh, going forward. On riders, we want to be different from everyone else. We want to treat them like we treat all 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 stars. We want to pay you. We hire you full time. You earn two to four thousand ringgit as a rider. We don't want. We only have proper rest. We want you to uh, be trained properly. We don't want you resting underneath highways, etc. And we want hopefully some of you to develop into pilots, just like we've done with with ramp guys. So this is step one of our delivery. Step two will be our beauty products and groceries. And we're already doing a lot with uh, AirAsia Farm now, selling Saba products to the rest of Malaysia. And we hope to do that for the rest of Asia and uh, bring Saba farmers better margin, better product. Uh, we were the first to bring mangoes from Perlis to Saba. Uh, and we want to thank the Saba government for approving that. And so lots of new things. AirAsia doesn't stand still. Uh, the airline is going to come back soon, hopefully, when we're all vaccinated, September, October. We have won by just being alive. And uh, we can't wait to bring back tourists to Sabah, the most beautiful place in Malaysia. If only I remember sitting and having a drink with YB and I said, wow, if only all of Malaysia could be like Sabah. You are such a cool group of people and I always love coming there. So step one today, food delivery. We hope we do you proud. And uh, step two, three, four, very soon, um, package delivery. Uh, farm, farm has already started, but we're going to grow that. And uh, grocery shopping. So we're here for Saba, as Saba was here for us. Uh, we love you guys. And uh, thank you for supporting us all these years. We will never forget. And uh, again, a special thanks to my dear friend, uh, YB Masidi who's a really cool politician. If only all politicians were made like him, we would have a, a, a better world. So thank you, everyone. Um, I have a very long speech, actually. They said short speech, but they gave me like 17 pages, but I've cut it down. Uh, thank you very much again to everyone on the call, especially YB. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Tony. The expansion of Air Asia Food and Air Asia Fresh into Kota Kinabalu is indeed a boost at helping the recovery of the local economy by creating more job opportunities, enabling local businesses to earn more and offering consumers better value for their money. And next, we would like to humbly invite Yang Burhamat Datuk Sri Panglima Masidi Manjun to share a few words with all of us, if you please, YB. <laughs> so, once again, good morning. Assalamualaikum uh, to everyone, especially my old friend, uh, Yang Burhamat Bahagi Atan Sri Tony Fernandes, and everyone for tuning in with us this morning. My remark is going to be a very short one. First, I would like to uh, once again express our gratitude to Asia for choosing Kota Kinabalu as their first hub in East Malaysia in the launch of one or another offering of the e-commerce. We are very excited and I must tell you, this is consistent with our new policy in Sabah to go big on uh, e-commerce and digitalization. Secondly, I would also like to uh, say personally thank you to Tansri. I mean, he's been a very good friend of Sabah, obviously, and uh, I'm sure, and he has expressed it quite uh, vividly in his speeches now that given the uh, opportunity, opportunity to choose, I'm sure he will choose to live in Sabah. That's the beauty of Sabah, the people themselves. See? <laughs> I think that's it. I would not uh, uh, go further in why I have stated what I just said, but nevertheless, we are excited. 
You know, a lot of people in Kota Kinabalo may not realize that the internet penetrations uh, among the people of Kota Kinabalo is, is about 91.4%, which is very high yeah? for a population of just about over half a million, 560,000 to 600,000. That is a good statistic to, uh, to, to, to boast. Now, that opens up another chapter, an opportunity, a business opportunity for many people. Now, we have to accept the fact that in the post-COVID scenario, even under the current COVID scenario, our lifestyle has changed. We would like to stay more at home and venture less uh, outside our home. And for that reason, so I think we need to uh, our, restructure our life to suit with current situation. I personally believe that even after we have somewhat managed this COVID menace in Malaysia, but I think our, our life will never be the same. I believe that the virus will always be with us. All we need to do is to learn to live with the virus. And for that to happen, I think we need to move forward and readjust our life. And what Asia is offering, basically, I think, and honestly, I believe this is something that will uh, what we call will uh, look well with the transformation, life transform transformation, which I've just said. In, in fact, even within the ministry of local government, we have made adjustment to development, uh, building development plans. We are now, first we are going digital anyway, so that applications for development plan can be done online. But secondly, the most important thing is that we are adopting a new policy whereby we can, we can actually mix uh, what we call this uh, uh, living with, I mean, uh, you can actually mix housing and what we call this commerce. In fact, we are already experimenting whereby if you have a uh, new condominium a complex, we may allow you to, 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 to convert first or second floor of the condominium into some sort of a commerce, commercial uh, uh, space. So that people who are living in the condominium or the apartment may not go out into the city to buy their the, 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 the stuff. Everything can be done within the privacy and the vicinity of their place. Now, Asia have done it further. Not only they are going to deliver what you want and what really makes me very, very as is proud is that they are making full use in utilizing the resources that, resources that we have in Sabah. Local farmers, and I must say, my district will be one of the beneficiaries. I come from Ranao, we are Kundasang East, where the temperate vegetables from Sabah come. And I'm sure they'll be the biggest beneficiaries to this uh, platform. That, that's one. But secondly, I'm impressed with the way, the, with the fact that it's going to cost less for the consumers to purchase and to be delivered at their doorsteps. Now, Asia is known for this tagline of everyone can fly. Now I think everyone can order. Everyone can order, everyone can buy. At a click of the button of the, uh, at a click of the button. Now, I was made to understand that the first, uh, uh, for a start, delivery will be within the uh, business street of Kota Kinabalu. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I will be within the 15 kilometer radius of Kota Kinabalu and they're going to expand further. And to me, that's a good start. Perhaps, uh, Tony, if I may suggest, you're already selling vegetables, you're already selling food online. How about at the same time, you create an app of uh, uh, quick uh, cooking tips for people. <laughs> so that they get your products, but they also know how to cook it correctly. All right, we, we have actually, that's a great idea and we've just started testing it. So we're yeah. all on the same wavelength. Yeah, that would be an added advantage <laughs> to people who make use of your app. And uh, of course, as I've said, I promise to make it very, very, sim very simple. I'm really, really, really very happy that you are ad adopting technology and I'm very, very sure. And to be honest, I'm not saying this to uh, to say something that makes you happy, but I'm sure. Long before your first airplane or many airplanes start flying again to, to uh, send vegetables, send 
I mean, sorry, sending uh, passengers, your digitalization transformation, obviously, will make sure that Asia will continue to thrive and even expand. Now, this sort of creativity is something that we need in Malaysia. That is all about this, actually. And we are in an age, we are in a position whereby creativity could be the key to bring us forward. Everybody is suffering because of the pandemic. But I think, uh, Tansri, I must say that with your new app, the super app, for sure, everybody will end up being a good cook and a good eater. And that exactly, I hope that will happen. So, sekali lagi terima kasih yang berbagi atas Sri and all uh, what called this uh, hardworking people at Asia Group, uh, Miss Amanda Wu, our CEO. Uh, Kota Kinabalu is an exciting time. Unfortunately, we can only enjoy virtually at the moment, but hopefully soon, Asia will be able to fly again to Kota Kinabalu and enjoy what KK have to offer. Meanwhile, all the best to this uh, new super app, this new uh, what we call this uh, what we call offering from Asia, and uh, the, the people of Kota Kinabalu is lucky because we are the first Malaysians in East Malaysia who are going to benefit greatly from this super app. And on that note, congratulations, Tansri, congratulations, Asia, and uh, we hope that your creative mind will continue to change more creative ideas in the future. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, YB Datuk Sri, for your speech. Yeah, indeed, now everyone can order. And I'm sure all of our media friends in KK will look forward to trying out Air Asia Food and Air Asia Fresh after this. To give you further insight of what's to come, I'd like to invite Mr. Lim Benji for his presentation. Benji, the stage is yours. Thank you, Hamza. Um, good morning. Selamat pagi, selamat sejahtera to everybody. Uh, kick off by saying uh, Yang Bermohamad uh, Datuk Sri Panglima Asidi Manjun, State Minister of Local Government and Housing and State Minister of Finance too. Uh, Tan Sri Tony Fernandez, CEO Air Asia Group. Uh, Ms. Irene Omar, President of Air Asia Digital. Uh, all Air Asia All Stars, quite a number of you on this call today and also joining us live across uh, the world. And also, of course, members of the media. Thank you for making time today. Uh, I echo what Tan Sri Tony has said. Sabah is absolutely important for us. Um, he has given me lots and lots of reminders to please start operations in Sabah, right from the first day, as he rightly pointed out. Uh, and that is exactly why what we are doing here today, to you know, bring the great news to the people of Sabah that we are here today. Um, you know us as Air Asia. I think this uh, is a very familiar name, household name throughout you know, Malaysia and throughout Southeast Asia. We are the world's best low-cost airline 11 times in a row. And these are the amazing leadership, including Tan Sri himself, uh, in building what we have built. Um, so what is coming next? The Air Asia Super App. This was launched somewhere last year and to very big response very popular response. Everyone was very excited to have Air Asia coming into a super app, becoming into becoming a super app. Part of the digital transformation is to you know enrich the lifestyle of everyone, and this is what we are doing today. Next slide. And where we are today, we are an ASEAN travel and lifestyle super app. Right, everyone knows us for travel. We have very very strong. Um, brand in terms of travel. We have flights, we have health, we have tourism, we have hotels. This is our bread and butter. But today, we have expanded beyond travel. We are doing Air Asia Delivers, the e-commerce businesses that you know, we are bringing to Sabah today. In Air Asia Delivers, we have Air Asia Food, Air Asia Fresh, Air Asia Beauty. Right? And also, we recently launched Air Asia Money, financial services. We would like to help the people you know, ensure that they get the best loans, best credit cards, you know, to manage their financial, their own financials better. And lastly, we have AirAsia Media Group, providing lots and lots of amazing content on chat, on TV, many other areas to support our ambitions as a super app. So this is a platform that brings more together for everyone. Thanks. Next. And here we are today in Sabah. AirAsia Food, 
Air Asia Fresh, two amazing platforms that are in Sabah today, officially launching today. A bit of a background on Air Asia Food. Air Asia Food was launched in 2020, uh, May last year. I think what we have experienced is that lots and lots of restaurants were struggling. Um, the lockdowns created lots of difficulties for them to make a living. Um, no dining was allowed. And as a result of that, only delivery was possible. And other players in the market, I'm sure everyone is familiar, charges above 35 to 40% commission for their food delivery. And restaurants barely have enough margin to cover what they sell. And as a result of that, restaurants were losing money on every food delivery sale that they make. And so Tanshi Tony and a team led by Teleport, uh, Pete, and also a few others decided it's time we go into the market, bring down the commission costs to 15%. That is absolutely low, more than 50% lower than our competitors to help these restaurants to survive, to pull through to, through this very, very difficult period. And true enough, there was two, there was three MCOs that came and each and every MCO, it became harder and harder for restaurants to survive. So that's where Asia Food came in to support these businesses, telling them that, you know, you have an opportunity now to still generate sales through this difficult time. And also we introduced Asia Fresh in uh, September, October last year. Also for the same purpose, SMEs, small fishermen, small farmers, they need an avenue for sales. They have no choice but to do this. They have to go online and we provide that platform. We educate the farmers, we educate the fishermen, we educate the middlemen to ensure that they're ready for an e-commerce platform. And we take care of the rest. We look after marketing, we look after delivery, we look after all other efforts required to ensure the products of, of the producers get to the customers timely and, and, and in a good way. So, absolutely right, Dr. Sri, you're saying Kota Kinabalu, 91% internet penetration is very high. That's why, you know, it's top on our list in East Malaysia. Very proud to bring it to Kota Kinabalu as the first city in Sabah. And we believe there's so many more opportunities from Sandakan to Tawa to Ranau. Many other cities in Sabah will appreciate these services. Tuaran, Kota Balu, you name it, Beaufort. Many, many other cities in Sabah would appreciate these services. And all the businesses will be cheering on for our entry. All right, next. So let me go deeper into the two businesses, Air Asia Food. Air Asia Food, as I mentioned, launched last year. Air Asia Food has successfully made a name for itself, doing successful many deliveries across now four cities. What is Air Asia Food? It's an online ordering platform, simply giving great value to customers and merchants. As I mentioned, 15% onboarding uh, commission fees, very, very low and zero onboarding fees. Our, comp our competitors will charge an onboarding fee in addition to the commission. And that is a barrier to entry to many businesses. Lots of small businesses in Sabah will not be able to be on food delivery platforms for the very reason of the high commission and high onboarding fees. And today we removed that. We are seeing lots and lots of smaller players, hawkers, small mom and pot shops, gerai gerai is coming onto our platform and listing themselves as a result of the lower commission. So please remember that low commission equates to more business, equates to more opportunities for everyone, right? And next, uh, subsequent to that, you see value. As a result, lower commission, we are telling restaurants, give us the lowest price meals in town. We have to be cheaper than anyone else in the market. And I'm proud to say, Dato Sri, Tony, and everyone, that 55% of our restaurants have agreed to give lower prices of food on Air Asia food as a result of lower commission charges. And this is a very strong testament to AirAsia's brand of pushing for value to our customers. In addition to that, we are very proud to go out to the market and say that we are reducing delivery rates as well, only 99 cents for the first five kilometers. And that is really good value, that is, especially for a small city, you know, with a small radius coverage, like Kota Kinabalu, the first five km cover quite a large segment of the population and they get to enjoy 99 cents delivery fees. Subsequent to that, it's only $3.99 for between 5 to 10 km, and that is very affordable. Lastly, it's about convenience, right? We have Air Asia Big Points. Lots of our customers, uh, our guests, may not be able to use their points as there's no flights, unfortunately, but now they get a different avenue to use their points. And we have millions and billions of points uh, which our customers hold that they can spend on Air Asia food, Air Asia fresh in future. And lastly, it's about convenience. Uh, we allow pre orders for our customers. And we, soon to allow, we will soon uh, launch self-pickup services for restaurants to also earn additional revenue from, from Air Asia Food. And as you can see on the picture on the right, Orang KK Dapat Makan Free, that's our campaign. 
uh, very, very proud to introduce uh, free meals, Dato Sri and everyone. Free meals for everyone in Kota Kinabalu for the next seven days uh, from all the different restaurants in Kota Kinabalu. Each, uh, each day we have one restaurant that we offer free meals uh, that anyone can enjoy in KK. And lastly, we are still carrying on with our initiatives of giving free delivery until the middle of uh, July. You know, free delivery is really good as, uh, you know, delivery costs cannot sometimes be astronomical. And, you know, lots of our customers have given feedback that this is an amazing product that we are offering. So in KL, we have launched uh, one cent meal, but in Sabah, we are giving it free. That's the difference. All right, next. And these are the restaurants that we have on board. We've got 72 restaurants live as of today. Uh, 100 over restaurants that will be coming on, on our, our Air Asia food very, very soon. Uh, famous brands, Penang Chendo, we have Gamtong, Hong Kong Recipe, Bonio Ban, The Alley, Bubble Tea, Ima at Imago Mall, and many others. And these are some of just some of the names that we have and many, many more smaller players that are on Air Asia food um, that you know, people can enjoy. Next. And this is just uh, some feedback from our merchants. Right away, they said Air Asia will be successful because of the wide, wider coverage, 15 kilometers, as you rightly pointed out, low commissions. Uh, this is from Mr. Johnny Chai, Kota Kinabalu, uh, Kopi Luyang restaurant. And also, they love the idea of a 15% commission and the radius. Uh, also, another merchant that runs Luyang Street Food in KK. Next. Now let's go into Air Asia Fresh. All right, next. So Air Asia Fresh, what is our value proposition? Delivering you fresh groceries, quality groceries direct to your doorstep. Um, great value, why? As uh, Tan Sri Tony pointed out, Air Asia Farm, that's our partners in making Air Asia Fresh a success. We go direct to the farmers, direct to the SMEs, direct to the fishermen to get the best produce to be sold on Air Asia Fresh. Other, other grocery players do not have this benefit of having Air Asia Farm powering and providing the best uh, groceries and products for our customers. First of all, I'd like to highlight that our network, we are supplying locally and also interstate deliveries. So just for everyone's knowledge, we are actually delivering Sabah goods to West Malaysia at this point in time. And soon, I think this is the crown jewel of Air Asia Fresh is to do international cross-border deliveries the best fish from Sabah can go to throughout the world, can go to China, Japan, Australia, anywhere, you name it, we will send it there. And that we are working very closely with our partners, uh, Teleport, the, the, our cargo logistics business, as well as Azure Farm to make this a reality. So Sabahan products will go to the world and we will bring the world's product to Sabah. In addition to that, we offer hassle-free delivery. Uh, customers can select a time slot. As you, everyone knows, um, you know, fresh fish, we, it, ha it has to be fresh. Therefore, we offer a selected slot that you can choose uh, to get your groceries on time and at the exact moment that you like to have it. And lastly, we're going to do same-day delivery. I think uh, quick commerce is a new thing. Everyone is talking about not just e-commerce, but quick commerce today. And we're trying to get more and more effect efficient in delivering all these products to you on time and on the same day and as on-demand as possible in the coming weeks ahead. So for everyone in Kota Kinabalu, we have another special promotion for you. Today is like Christmas. You get lots and lots of goodies. Uh, 500 orders using the promo code AirAsia Delivers KK. We're giving you 10 ringgit off for your purchases from 22nd June. Sorry. Oops. Uh, from 1st June, 1st July to 31st July. <laughs> Entire month of July. As well as free delivery as well uh, throughout this period. All right. Next. And so how many merchants do we have? We have 22 live merchants and these are all local Sabahan merchants that we have gone live. 500 products on our website, 500 products. And that is also growing two to three times every single month. And these are the products that we have. Uh, this is quite local, uh, Sabah curry noodles. We have Sabah banana chips. We have some pepper that's grown locally, coffee. And of course, we got the seafood, salmon. We have fish, we have prawns, and of course, local vegetables from all the highlands in Sabah as well. So all these products are available on Air Asia Fresh. Next. And allow me to also share about Air Asia Farm. Uh, this is very crucial. We just launched Air Asia Farm 3rd of May last uh, this year. Right. It was a very big, uh, big event that we, we did in Kota Kinabalu. 
So far, we have 275 farmers on board. Right? This is quite a big number. 198 of which are vegetable farmers, 34 poultry farmers, and 43 fishermen are providing dried seafood. 25 businesses have already started purchasing from Asia Farm, the products that are produced in Sabah. And these are all exported to Semenanjung as well. Right? And recently, as what uh, Tansri pointed out, four, four metric tons of mar uh, manga harumanis were imported into Sabah for the first time ever. And thanks to this, uh, Sabahans get to enjoy the freshest and the most delicious uh, harumani spango from the state of Perlis. And this is all possible because of AirAsia's logistics. AirAsia Farm, AirAsia Fresh. All this is made possible because of this. Next. And lastly, again, to, to, to reiterate, AirAsia Fresh is not purely based in Kota Kinabalu. We are currently in Klang Valley as well. We are opening up in Penang as well. And as you can see, Ikan Belis Mata Biru. All these different products from Sabah, udang kering, ikan masin are all being sold in the Klang Valley right now. And that completes the whole ecosystem of Asia Farm, Asia Fresh, and bringing the best produce out. And very soon, uh, this is something very interesting, Sabasco, I think the equivalent of Tobasco sauce made in Sabah, will also be introduced in uh, West Malaysia and also the rest of the world very soon. And we're extremely excited to you know, bring in more and more products, not just in uh, West, but also throughout the world. And this is uh, our ambition. There'll be ikan masin keropo and ikan masin anjang anjang, which are all local products, which we would love to try it out very soon. Next. And so um, just to give everyone a flavor of how we're going to make it a success, it is down to our efficient delivery team, Teleport Delivery. They are the logistics venture of AirAsia Digital, who aims to make a difference with fast, seamless, and on-time deliveries around Kota Kinabalu and the rest of Sabah. So to kickstart, we have 100 riders and this is back to, you know, uh, Dato Sri about building and a community, giving jobs back to, you know, the people of Sabah to kickstart your recovery of the economy post the pandemic. So this is all the efforts that we're undertaking. And these delivery riders are all locals. Some of them are our cabin crew. Some of them are our pilots. You know, some of them are our guest services staff at the airport. These are all amazing AirAsia staff who decided they want to find a new opportunity, also still within AirAsia. And giving them opportunities is what Tony is trying to do. He has promised to rehire every single staff of AirAsia once the pandemic is over. And we are kickstarting this process slightly earlier by giving them opportunities to be riders, to be you know delivery person. So don't be surprised to see a beautiful cabin crew coming up to your house and delivering a wonderful uh, AirAsia food, AirAsia fresh meal very soon. You will never know. All right, next. So this is the expansion throughout East Malaysia. So as I mentioned, Kota Kinabalu is first. We'll go into Sandakan, Tawang. Of course, Kuching, Cebu, Bintulu, Miri will be cities that we will enter soon. And I do not discount going into Ranao, going into Tuaran, these cities early next year. As you know, we see a demand for our services. Next. And last but not least, I think uh, we will definitely go aggressive across Southeast Asia. This super app is not purely a Malaysian super app. We believe in creating a third, a second player in the super app space to give the people of Southeast Asia an opportunity, options, variety to grow their businesses or to get value from our services, right? So we are live in Malaysia. We are live in Klang Valley, Penang, Sremban. Uh, sorry, Klang Valley, Penang, Sremban, Kota Kinabalu today. We are also live in Singapore and we're going to be starting services in Bangkok, Manila, Jakarta very, very soon. All right, next. Well, last but not least, before I end, I'd like to thank my AirAsia food team, uh, led by Sherwin, of course, and also the rest of the team, Anand, Fuad, Pauzan, my acquisition team, Peggy, who's went out aggressively to get 100 over restaurants, merchants, and everything in a short span of time, only just one month. The AirAsia Fresh team, led by Sasha and Yosun, who will be Limin, who sourced for these great merchants, as you're seeing, all the great grocery items, all sourced by them, and also the team as well as the supporting team, the rest of the AirAsia e-commerce team or AirAsia Delivers team, which is Dinesh, Chris, Disha, Sunglin, and many others, including PR Marketing, Aziz himself, May, Mei, Adeline, Jacqueline, Aziz, Daphne, and everyone on this call who has made it happen, including our partners in AirAsia Farm, Joanna, Lalita, and team. So this is a group effort to show that AirAsia working together can make miracles happen, magic happen today. So we are open for business, everyone. Bah, order, sumo. Thank you. Thank you very much, Benji, for the insightful presentation, ladies and gentlemen. We will now move forward with our media Q&A session. 
Thank you to those who have shared your questions earlier. And if you have further questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat section in the Zoom call and we'll try to cover it. On our Q&A panel today, we have Yang Berhormat Dr. Sri Panglim Nama Siti Manjut, Tan Sri Tony Fernandez, Mr. Lim Benji, who will be answering your questions. Okay, let's begin with our first question to um, YB Dr. Sri. Now that Air Asia has provided an e-commerce platform in Sabah, what is your message to Sabahan entrepreneurs, restaurant owners, or farmers? Uh, thank you very much. I think that's a very, I think, uh, apt question, especially when we talk about e-commerce. I think entrepreneurs, especially small-time business, I think we need to uh, recreate the way that we do business. Is it gone are the days whereby you go you set up a store and then you start a business? Now, pe people actually sell things from home. And to do that, we should adopt technology. That is very, very, very important. I can't find any other way in which we can survive without ad adopting e-commerce or technology. And the good news is that everyone can do it, actually, even those in the kampung. You can, uh, you will be selling the best and most lovable Kui Pinjaram from Kota Mlut, or probably uh, a special vegetable from uh, Kundasang. Sell it, sell it on life. Yeah. And of course, the other one is that I really hope that more young people will, be, will venture into this type of business. I think this is the worst time for us to look for a job, if I may say. I think we need to create the job for ourselves. And this e-commerce basically is one of the best way to reinvent or serve the way we do business and gain something out of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yohan Bohormat. Uh, next, we have a question for Tansi Tony Fernandez. We have a few questions here. I'll read out the first one. What is the impact of the Air Asia Super App for the local economy in Sabah? Any target, how many people will benefit from this? Well, I, I, I... I don't know. That's like the first question and someone asked me, you know, how is AirAsia going to impact the Sabah economy? I think we impacted it in a very big way. Uh, I think the difference between us and some of the other e-commerce players is we know Sabah very well. As Benji mentioned, we're not just focusing on KK. We're going to really focus on all the towns. My dream is just like we, we provided connectivity. You know, we we're the first guys to put connect, connectivity between KL and Tawau. KL and Sandakan. Um, we want to bring our services to not only the big cities, but everywhere. So I think our impact could be very large because we know Sabah better than anyone. And uh, with, with the great job the government is doing in terms of road logistics, coupled with our air logistics, we'll be able to help farmers all over. We'll be able to help restaurants all over as well. Um, and my dream is there's so much great food in Sabah Hopefully, with the business we bring them and the connections, some of them can open their restaurants in Samanjung as well um, or, or work with us on cloud kitchens, et cetera. So hard to give an exact number, but I think Light Air Asia has been very impactful to everyone in Sabah. I hope our super app will be impactful to everyone in Sabah. You know, as I said, we're a, we're a democratic airline. We like to level the playing field. We don't like to just serve a few. We like to serve everybody. And that's why I came up with a tagline, now everyone can fly. Similar with our e-commerce services, we're not just targeting a small population of Sabah. We're trying to target everybody, all 500,000 people. Thank you very much, Tony. Second question. How many job opportunities will be created in Sabah from AirAsia e-commerce and the Super App? Again, uh, you know, as many as we can. That's down to Benji and down to Sabah people supporting us as well. Um, you know, we've obviously a huge provider of jobs, both in AirAsia and obviously as a result of AirAsia from hotels and tourism. So as many as we can, um, but the, the job opportunities. We also want to encourage people to go back into farming. You know, every, everyone urbanizes and wants to go to the city, but we think farming is a great uh, business to go into. Food security is important for Sabah and Malaysia. And it, it's, a, it's a lucrative business. And we believe we can take like Haramanis mangoes and so many products in Kundusang, et cetera, we can make them world, world beaters. What we are good at is branding. 
So Malaysia is known for Musang King, uh, durians around the world. We have a lot more than Musang King, you know, mangoes, fish. It's time to brand Sabah food. Not just the fish has come from Sabah. What we are good at at AirAsia is branding. So to make more haramanis, to make more veg vegetables from Sabah. My dream is to build that, that, that brand in Sabah that people go to the supermarket looking for Sabah vegetables, right? And so we want to work with the Sabah state government to help brand and hence increase the value add for farmers. So um, it's not just about internal jobs. It's about external jobs. It's about encouraging more people to go into farming like we did with tourism. And, uh, and so I can't put a number, to be honest, but you know me, we will try to make it as big as possible. You know, I'm trying to make my stomach smaller, but in terms of jobs, we will definitely make it as large as possible. But, but I'm already on my way. My stomach is smaller than Eric's already. So uh, I'm winning the war already. Thank you, Tony. Speaking of farming, another question is, can you please explain more about AirAsia Farms Warehouse? Is this AirAsia first warehouse for agriculture industry? Yes, it is. I mean, you know, I never believed we would have a farm for warehouse, uh, sorry, a, a warehouse for farms. But that just shows you how great our little company is that we can diversify so quickly. The important about having warehouses twofold. One, to collect for export. So our warehouses also include cold storage. So a lot of Sabah fish is sent to Singapore and then re-exported. My dream is why can't it be exported directly from Sabah to China, to Japan, to Korea, and to the world? So we want to build uh, airport logistics so that we can do that. And second is uh, to, you know, and the grocery shopping and for farmers. Imagine we bring vegetables from Kundusan into KL or KK and you have it on your table within 24 hours, as fresh as the farm. That's the beauty of what AirAsia can do. So the dream is to bring, collect all the vegetables, put them on our marketplace, transport them into warehouses throughout Samanjong, and so they can be as fresh as possible um, to consumers and supermarkets in Malaysia and hopefully the world. All right, thank you very much. Next, we have a few questions from Mr. Lim Benji. The first question is, what will be the AirAsia Super Apps next e-commerce offering in Sabah? All right, uh, we definitely have more, as what uh, Tanshi also pointed out. We have uh, AirAsia Beauty that's coming soon. So any beauty products, you know, our cabin crew look amazing and they have the best skin, the best looks, and they are the best uh, ambassadors of AirAsia Beauty. So we do home delivery of beauty products into Sabah order anything from around the world, from Japan, from Korea, and we will deliver it to people in Sabah. Uh, subsequent to that, we'll be doing Air Asia Express, which is the uh, express parcel delivery service within Sabah. You can uh, you know, deliver your products, uh, your, your documents, your food to your friends and family in Sabah, within the state or within your city. And lastly, I think, uh, Tanshi, this is going to be quite exciting, but uh, let's, let's talk about it later, which is uh, right hailing, but then we'll save that for another day. <laughs> I'm sure we'll save it for another day. Thank you, I Benji. Think, uh, Air Asia, Air Asia will provide a service to all politicians that they want to send SDs <laughs> to Agong, etc. We'll be the fastest. <laughs> nice. Okay. Next question is: How many riders plan to be employed for initial phase in KK? I think I just mentioned uh, hundred. We're starting at hundred, but definitely this figure will grow very much in the coming weeks uh, in order to fulfill, you know our growing orders in Sabah, which we foresee to be super successful. Just kicking off with the free meals itself will already gain us lots and lots of orders. In addition to Azure fresh products, Azure beauty products, and even more products uh, in terms of cargo and farming as well. So riders will increase. We're starting off with 100, but they will increase essentially. Thank you, Benji. Um, speaking of expanding the Air Asia super app in Sabah, uh, one of our media friends is asking, how's the internet access issues in Sabah will affect the AirAsia super app? As YB said, 91% is covered. Um, I just want to say AirAsia has never had an issue. Remember, 19 years ago, we started selling tickets online and Sabah was our main market. We never had an issue. So, you know, I think the government's done a pretty good job in internet access, as was, and also mobile phone access. 
Um, you know, we are uh, mobile phone coverage is very good. We're very excited about 5G and we're a very mobile platform driven company. So no issue. Um, and uh, as YB said, 91% of uh, Sabah is, is connected. Our applications are not data hungry. So we will um, we'll be fine. Thank you, Tony. We have next question for Benji. Now that Air Asia Super App have more than 15 products and services, what other features are you looking at to incorporate in the Super App in the future? Oh, wow. Uh, that's a very good question. Um, definitely to improve the uh, user experience more and more. Uh, every step of the way, we want to make it easier for you to order. Order in one, uh, two to three clicks. You know, order your favorite meal in KK in two to three clicks. Those are the few enhancements. Um, definitely giving customers, you know, easy payment, easy ordering. Those are the basic things that we, we will keep improving on time and again. Tony, do you have anything to add on the Super App? I mean, I think step one is, um, you know, obviously we want to be uh, as good as Expedia and Agoda on travel. That's our bread and butter. Uh, number two is the delivery service, which Benji has given you a university lecture on. Uh, number three is money. We hope to be able to allow Sabahans to get cheaper loans uh, through our own big pay application, which now has 900,000 customers. So please sign up with big pay because we're soon going to start our lending and our lending will be cheap. We will not charge you high interest rates. We're all about giving a full yeah, hello, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, not along. We are, <laughs> uh, we, we are very low cost. Um, <laughs> and uh, no advertising on the lamppost. Uh, so uh, we'll also work with other banks to provide financial services for the common man. Uh, and then we're doing an education platform. So we want... Uh, Sabahans and the rest of Malaysians to also, while they're looking for new jobs, there are a lot of jobs in technical, in uh, IT. So we have our Red Beat Academy, which Irene is spearheading, which we already have 3,000 students. A lot of all-stars who are out of a job have retrained as data analysts, data scientists, etc. And finally, AirAsia Health is coming as well. Um, and of course, look, I came from the music industry, so we will have music for sure and other kind of social connections uh, on our app as well. So lots happening. We, I call it within AirAsia, we're trying to bring an AirAsia way of life. And I modeled AirAsia's way of life on Sabah. You know, um, I really, and I'm, I'm not joking, I will retire in Sabah. That was supposed to be soon until COVID came along. So hopefully I can find a nice piece of land in Renau or somewhere. And, uh, you know, uh, YB will give me my own street, uh, Jala and Tony. And then uh, I will be retiring in Sabah for sure. My wife has already agreed. She's Korean and they all love Sabah anyway. Okay. Thank you, Tony and Benji. Thank you, media friends, ma'am, for your questions. Uh, may I please have final comments from uh, Yang Borobat Datu Sri? Yeah, once again. I uh, mean, uh, <clears throat> I think everyone for this uh, lovely launch today. I think this is, I think I'm sure this is going to be the first major step in the transformation of business uh, model in the whole country. Now, as I've said earlier, we are in a new world, totally different from what we, we used to be. And I think we need to create something that uh, allow us to live in inverted comma and in this new world, a post-COVID world. And Asia have taken the lead, and I hope there will be more companies that's going to follow what Asia have done today. Now, keep things simple. Now, I believe my management philosophy is just the word KISS, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it short and simple. And mm -hmm. I believe that's how, we should, that's how we should do things. No, I mean, get it done, just get it done. And that's exactly what Asia has done today. Kiss, keep it short and simple. Order what you want and get what you want. And that, that, that's why we get on so well, YB. And my staff know that that every day I say it, kiss. Yeah. Uh, both physically and in the metaphorical way. <laughs> um, 
So I keep saying, keep it simple, stupid. Uh, because that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what, and, that's what we've lived by for 19 years. And that's what we'll continue to live by. And uh, Benji, you said just now that uh, some of your beautiful AST winners is going to be the delivery person. So I think you got the uh, one minute advance tip because a beautiful girl is going to deliver something to my house because I want to <laughs> tell my wife that it's just a delivery girl. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you said Tansu Tony instead. Tansu Tony, you're going to deliver. See, that's, okay. that's, why, that's why Saba is so cool. No Samanju minister would ever say that. <laughs> <laughs> Though he's thinking like that. <laughs> uh, you get to me you get uh, you get what you see I mean as a person I'm not a hypocrite I would like to see I live things as I like if you don't like me I'm sorry but that's me <laughs> that's great thank you YB so much thank you everyone thank you YB and, uh, thank you Tansi Tony the only, the only sad thing is I, I, I wish I was there in person but I, I got a compliment YB uh, I was speaking to him recently on something very different, which is COVID. And I think Sabah has done an incredible job. You know, cases were so high at one stage in Sabah. And I hope the rest of the country can learn from Sabah um, as we beat this. And we will beat this. I think we must stay optimistic. We cannot let COVID take over our lives. And at some point, as YB said, the, the most important point, we have to learn to live with this. We cannot live in caves and we cannot, we just, you know, I thought the, a note from a Singapore minister was very good. So once yeah. we get the numbers down and please, please, please register for vaccines. I, I have taken one. It improved my cycling. I could do an extra 10 kilometers. So I'm, I really encourage Asia. We're very proud. YB 97% of AirAsia staff have registered for a vaccine and we just got approval from uh, YBKJ to, to start our own vaccination campaign. So um, I urge everyone in Sabah to please register and uh, get vaccinated and don't let COVID take over our lives. Let's show COVID that we are better than them. Thank you very much, YB. YB and thank you, Tan Sri. Uh, Mr. Lim Benji, as you see if you have a final word. Yep, uh, it's just a quick one. Uh, I've been asked, let's, let's, I'm, I would like to push a message out and thank you, Datu Sri, thank you, Tony. Uh, restaurants and also riders, come and join us. You know, this is the best opportunity, as I mentioned. No onboarding fees, zero. And this is a great chance for you to build a business and to take part in the recovery when it happens. So that's my final message. And thank you, everyone, on this call for joining us and listening to us today. Thank you, Hamza. Thank you, Benji. Now, may I please have our uh, Datu Sri, Tony, Benji, Miss Irene, and everyone to look at the camera for a virtual group photo. Wait, wait, wait. One sec, one sec, one sec. All right. Oh. Ah, I think that's a good tagline. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right. In one, two, three. Let's take another one for safety. One, two, three. All right, and that marks the end of our virtual press conference for today. Media friends, don't forget that Air Asia Food is offering free meals starting from today, 1st to 6th July 2021, with the first 500 customers for Air Asia Fresh will also receive 10 ringgit off with the promo code AA Delivers KK. Once again, thank you everyone for joining us today and have a great day ahead. All right, thank you, YB. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah, Bye. see you soon. Thank you. Bye.